Gloves on, it's cold out here. Howdy friends, my name's Mike, and this is where I live. One of the questions we get asked most often about living in a yurt, and that is, how cold does it get in winter? Can you even stay warm? In this video, we're gonna talk about yurt life. In particular, yurt life in Maine. How cold does it really get in what is essentially a fancy tent? The answers might surprise you. You might even find them a little chilling. <laughs> see, see what I did there? So uh, let's get in out of the cold and talk about uh, how we stay warm through winter in a yurt. Do, do, do. It is cold. I don't know why I just went. <sighs> so there are two main things we have to think about when staying warm in general, but especially in the yurt. And those things are insulation and a heat source. Let's talk about insulation first, because uh, there's not a whole lot of that here in the yurt. Underneath the yurt and in the floors, we have blueboard insulation. We reused all the blueboard from the last time we had the yurt set up, and maybe that wasn't the best idea because the floor still gets a little bit chilly. If I were going to build the yurt again, I would definitely beef up the insulation in the floor because in the winter you can't really walk around barefoot unless you want some really chilly feet. But that problem is easily solved with a few strategically placed carpets and wearing slippers all the time. Now, if you're this guy, you just walk around barefoot and your feet don't get cold apparently. We chalk that up to the fact that he's grown up in Maine his whole life and we always joke that uh, real Mainers feet don't get cold, which I don't think is true, but his feet never seem to get cold. Next, let's talk about the insulation we have in the walls and roof. It's essentially bubble wrap coated with a reflective surface on both sides. Um, and along the walls, it is some of it's contained with this nice covering. So this bubble wrap insulation in the walls and roofs works well really until we get to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And then that's when things start to get a little bit interesting. So let's talk about our heat source. We have a wood stove, which we really love. Uh, the wood stove works great. Today, as you can see here, the temperature outside is in the 30s and it's been easy to keep it in the 60s all day long, no trouble. Um, the trouble really comes when the temperatures are really low, like five, 10 degrees outside, especially when you add some high winds in there. Um, as soon as the wood stove dies down and it's just those hot coals in there, uh, the temperature drops rather quickly on the inside. But again, it's still totally livable. And that's something we sort of enjoy about your life is that you have a bit of a closer connection to the outside world, to nature. Um, I never have to guess what the weather's like outside because I can feel it, I can hear it. I don't know, probably hear how windy it is right now out there. Um, there's never a question of like, what's it like outside? It's pretty easy to tell. And we like that. So let's talk about fuel. We go through at least four cords of wood a year. We bought some nice kiln dried firewood this year because we had some trees that fell last spring and we cut them up and that wood we did season but it wasn't enough um, since a lot of it was softwood which isn't 
my favorite for burning. Um, again, not an expert, but hardwood. They all say the hardwoods. Hardwoods better. That's what she said. <laughs> um, I digress. So we go through about four chords, maybe five each season. And the kiln dried wood has been great because it really uh, burns a lot better. So, so far this year, I estimate that we've used probably coming up on two chords. Uh, so we get this wood delivered and we have to move it to the yurt, which is always fun. It actually wasn't that bad this year. Um, I have, I have no, no notes written down past this point, so I have to think of what I want to say. How cold does it get in a yurt? Well, that depends on how cold it is outside. Um, but here on the coast of Maine, we'll have stretches usually around this time of year, late January, early February, where we get these cold dips down into the single digits. Um, if that was the entire winter, we'd have to rethink how we heat things here. But normally with temperatures in the 20s and 30s, um, we heat the yurt just fine. It's, it stays plenty warm. It's great. We love it. So yeah, what's it like living in the yurt in winter? Sometimes it's chilly, but never too cold. And often we're plenty warm. But if you like this video, you should subscribe somewhere to this channel and please like and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you're thinking about living in a yurt yourself, definitely leave a comment below. We love answering questions about what we've learned. Sorry, my cat's climbing up there. About what we've learned living in a yurt over the past like four years, five years. I don't even know how long it's been, at least four years. So we love to like share what we've learned and tips and tricks and all that stuff. So drop a comment below if you want to ask any questions. And that's all I got to say about that. Peace.